We're ready for Tuesday? Mm-hmm. That's good. It's good. It's so good. 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 They look good today already. Yeah, you guys look great. You don't have a real good open, no. though. Think, I think that was a good open. You think it's good? Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Scott. Pastor Jason. And uh, we got a great show for them. If you're a new subscriber, type in where you're from. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Right. And if you're from a city that's got two state names. Iowa, what was it? Iowa, no, Missouri. Missouri. Is it Missouri? Any What's other out there? Actually, give us some good ones. We what should are... look it up and see if that's really a thing. Right? Because yeah. we already found out that Rome is in... Oh, there's a Rome in Idaho? or Was it Rome, Idaho? I don't remember. They're like, you know what would really bring tourists? It's just called the city Rome. Rome. There's a lot of Springfields, too. I wonder if people actually go, honey, I'm taking you to Rome. Which is the real Springfield? Oh, that's a good idea. I could tell Holly, you know what, baby? Daddy's going to take you to Rome. <laughs> She's like, well, I think the internet lied to us. This looks nothing like the Rome I see on the this internet. This is not the Coliseum. <laughs> this is, it's just a barn. <laughs> he calls it the Coliseum. So we're, we're talking talk about your your message, your whole series, or you've been talking about um, God of both. He's a God of both. of not limiting God or mm -hmm. allowing people to put limits on what God can do. God can bless you in the high times and the low times, in and out. That he says that you can have superiority, superior quality and in quantity. The world always says, oh, you want to have a business. Well, that comes with a great deal of stress. God says, no, you can have success without stress. Yeah. Right? It's so true. Right? So everything they do, that's always a this or that. Well, you can't have a successful finances and a successful family. No. Like you need to pursue in your ambitions yeah. and stuff and neglect your family or have a family and then, but don't have any success. And that's so right? true. You've heard that one before. No, all the time. Yeah. And people live to that. And so sometimes maybe they, they neglect the family. Yeah, they sacrifice their family on the altar of money. And they don't realize that you can have both. Well, with God, you can. He's like, we can do both. Can I, wait, can God actually do that? Yeah, he can do all things. <laughs> right? And, you know, because, and, you know, when mom and dad were first starting in the 80s and pastoring, there was a lot of, I'm not saying it's not around today, but there was a really different thing that, you know, when you pastor, the family is second and the family isn't right. And, and everything has to be about the church. Well, you you know, you really bring up a good point because um, in those days you had, you had what we called the PKs and the PKs were the crazy kids that partied oh, and lived yeah. in the world and stuff because their dad had, had neglected the children because right. he was pursuing God and ministry and uh, and that was acceptable you can't you can't have a good marriage and a good family and be because in the they, ministry because the ministry needs to be more important because they got things different they would use things like well god has to be more important and dad says yes god is most important then family then ministry yeah. So they, they got the ministry part they thought goes ahead of family. When they and, missed the part where your family's your first church. Your first church. And what happened was, is because God, dad got it, mom got an order, he got the church and the family. Because God is a God of both. Both. He, 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 no, you guys like, no, we can do both. We can have both. Yeah, you could, your kids can serve God and you can have a great family, great relationship. And you can build a ministry that touches and changes the world. You can do both. Both. Yeah. And so we're in a really cool story. That's a good one. I, I love that Jason teaches this story so good. This would made me think about it. Uh, you've done it a number of times. Because now Jacob's getting older. Joseph has a couple kids. Now remember with, with uh, Jacob, Jacob always wanted the blessing and he tricked his father into getting the blessing from he, his he father. Got, he dressed up all furry like Chewbacca. <laughs> he must. Because I guess he saw was very hairy. Right. And uh, and when he came in for the to, to get the blessing, even Isaac was like, uh, the voice sounds a lot like Jacob because Isaac's eyes had grown dim. Right. He, was, he was going blind. He couldn't see very good. And so he checked the arms for, for the hair. Imagine how hairy he was. If it was because he, was... he put uh, fur yeah, on his arms, like some kind of lamb animal. Or... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Esau. <laughs> Wow, that's Holy a that's a hairy son. <laughs> so you saw you got some bigger problems than the blessing. And he came in to get the blessing, right. which Isaac for some reason had it in his head that he only had one blessing to give, and that was it. And I think it's funny we see here that Isaac has grown um, in his old age. He's come to realize that God was a God of both, because Joseph comes and Joseph wanted him to do a blessing, and so when he was supposed to have the older son over here, right? Ephraim and, and Manasseh. And so he switched his hands, mm -hmm. right? He switched.
stretched his hands. And so we see here uh, at verse 17, when Joseph saw his father placing his right hand on Ephraim's head, which is younger, he was displeased. So he took hold of his father's hand to move it from Ephraim's head to Manasseh's. And Joseph said to him, no, 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 my father. No, you, come on, dad, you're going to miss out. This one's the firstborn. You put must your, have forgot. Put your right hand on his. But now the Jacob father... Jacob he forgets. He forgets. I love Jacob. But Jacob refused and said, I know my son, I know. He too will become a great people. He too will become great. Mm -hmm. He says, well, stop it. Right? We we, both. We're making a big deal, but I want to make a, a show here that both, both can have this. This, only one, he's the only one that's going to get well, the blessing. you bring up a good point because Jacob, when he got the blessing from his father, right. Esau came in right after him and said, Father, give me, give me the blessing too. Don't you have two blessings? And Isaac goes, no, I don't have two. <laughs> That's funny to me, though. What, it's not but, like, but Jacob... Do <laughs> you like, think how dumb that is? He's like, I ran out. I ran out. But Jacob knew. He was like, no, he actually blessed all 12 of, of his children. Right. Well, really 13 because he he adopted Ephraim and Manasseh as own in place of Joseph, who he lost. So right. he was like 13. Right. And uh, um, and he did this, but he blessed all of them. Blessed all like, of them. He's like, it's God. He's got enough blessing. Going. God is the God who blesses <laughs> both. It's not a limited blessing where he's like, hold on. No, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, I just gave my last blessing away. It's all out. <laughs> I accidentally gave it to Judas. My bad. What are you? What are you doing? And so Jacob has a different understanding because he says, "Wait a second. Because you know what? I wonder if he also saw it. Because yes, he got the blessing. But when him and uh, Esau got together there later in life, mm -hmm. notice that Esau was doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. Esau was was blessed mightily. Yeah, he had big armies. Esau big still got blessed. Even when Jacob's like, "Hey, let me give you some," Esau goes, "I'm good." I don't need your stuff. Need I got too much stuff. I got too much stuff. I'm blessed. I didn't. And you I, know, I just now thought of this that Abraham didn't have that mentality. No, no, but no. Isaac did. But Jacob didn't. Right. And uh, Abraham had that word spoken over him that all peoples will be blessed through you. Wow. You know, if you could only bless one person, just meditate on that for a second. Then it would always just be one person that was blessed. Right. So Abraham must have got the idea that oh, that's multiplication. That means you can I can bless everybody in my world. But didn't it say all of his children? His favor was on him. Your children's will all be blessed. Yeah, your children's children, not your child's child. <laughs> I like the child's child. And they're all blessed. <laughs> what, what God is a God who's his his goal when he met with Abraham was like, I, my goal is to make sure everyone, all peoples will be blessed, blessed through you. Look, listen to the goal of our God, our father, who's like, no, I'm going to bless them all. But do I you, want them all blessed. Do you see how the man mentality can put God in a box? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. I only mm. had one. You only had one. Really? The alpha, the omega, the mm. beginning, the end, the God, mm. right? That created the heavens and the earth. Only He's like, oh, dang it, we're out of blessing. I only it, had one. It's right. I only had one to give. Tries to limit. And, you know, I, I also hear people say, well, God can't bless you because you have things in you and you're not hitting the, you're yeah, not really living for the Lord. You know, you sure you're a believer in Jesus, but he can't bless that, what you're up, you know, the way right. you're living. And like, well, then which one of us is without sin? Then you have to start asking those questions. Well, then he can't bless anyone again. No and if he can't bless anyone, then Jesus died for nothing. Thank you, Jason. No, no, no. So Jesus died so that we all could have the blood of Jesus, so that we all might be the righteousness of God, not the righteousness of you. Your righteousness could never earn you the blessing. But praise Jesus that Jesus afforded you the righteousness that comes from God. It's a gift to anyone who would believe in Jesus. And because you have that righteousness, now God can increase the harvest of your righteousness. He can bless you for free. Because he's not a Santa Claus God. If no. you're naughty or nice. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's a Santa Claus. Santa Claus if, you've been, if you've been naughty, then you get cold. No, you get if cold. you've been nice. But you see, this that Jacob didn't say, okay, now which of these kids have been good? You've right. been doing your homework? Have you been, you know, I can't give, I just don't give out blessings just anywhere. Right. Right. Have you been respectful? Which one of you are the best children? Yeah. I'm only going to bless the best child. He, yeah. The works meant nothing. He didn't, there was not a question about works. Yeah. It was, oh, wait a second. You are a child of my son. Here comes the blessing. Yeah. Right. And for you, right. Am I a child of God? Yes, I'm a child of God. I got saved. I'm now a child of God. Here comes the blessing. We well, bring up a really interesting point. He didn't know Ephraim and Manasseh. I know. I thought that was interesting he when we read the story. He was just meeting them. What happened? So what he we... wouldn't have known which one was good or which one was bad or what which one deserved. What are we doing? Are we not getting together deserve. for holidays here? What's, what's going on with our family? Yeah. He's like, who are these? Well, he wouldn't have known him because he was he lived in a, he didn't even know Joseph was alive a few weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a good. You know point. what I'm saying? He's like, I don't know Joseph was Joseph alive, and he has kids. You're You're joking. You're joking. I should children? I should meet the kids. We should. Why are we not texting? What's going on? No Zoom. What are we doing here? <laughs> Do you didn't even post it on Facebook. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so, uh, yeah, so he wouldn't have known. In other words, the gift of God, the blessing of God, it's unconditional to anyone who would be in the family of oh, God. So and the good. only way into the family of God is through believing in Jesus. There is no other way. There is a door called your own righteousness, but nobody's ever entered it except for Jesus. Can't get it. That door is locked, yo. It's closed. Because you were born a sinner. And you're still sinning. But through the blood of Jesus, there he has entered a new and living way that by his blood you can boldly walk in just because you believe in him. You're like, Jesus, you're my Lord. He's like, come on in. And he goes, here you go. Here's your blessing. Here's your blessing. Boom. Boom. Got it. Here's your blessing. Because you're in the family now. Because you're in the family. And so you want to pray over the day? Yeah. Father God, I thank you and praise you, Lord, for this revelation that you're opening up all of our hearts, uh, even in this moment, Lord, that we are of the family, Father God, and that your blessing is for all of anyone who would believe. And, and Lord, that we don't have to be limited by the idea that blessing is just for this or just for that or just for one, but anyone who would believe in your son, Jesus. And so we walk out today into our day knowing that we have your blessing, that we're walking in your blessing and that we are a tool, uh, a servant of you, a disciple, but also a son and a daughter that can spread that blessing to others. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Watch this clip. We got Joseph who's limiting God. There's one blessing. It's got to go to the elders. And what does Jacob do? Jacob crosses his hands. And Joseph gets upset. He's like, dad, 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 you're messed up. I'm sorry, dad, you're messing up. Yeah, yeah, no, the, the blessing has to go to the oldest. It's got to go to the right hand. But now watch what, what Jacob says here. When Joseph saw his father placing his right hand on Ephraim's head, he was displeased, so he took hold of his father's hand to move it from Ephraim's head to Manasseh's head. Joseph said to him, No, my father, this one is the firstborn. Put your right hand on his hand. But Jacob said, I know my son, I know. He too will become a great people and he too will become great. Once again, he got it there in his life that God is not a this or a that, but God is a this and that. That he can bless you in your high time, he can bless you in your low time. He can bless you when you're living perfect and he can bless you in the middle of your addiction, in the middle of your mess. Whatever's going on in your life, God can bless you. He can throw the Pop-Tarts into your day, whether you had a bad attitude or not. He can bless you in the midst of your laziness. He can bless you in the midst of your mess. That he'll make your mess into something great if you allow him to. Come on, church. Somebody give the Lord a honk out there. Stop limiting God. Enjoy his internet. Enjoy his Pop-Tarts. Enjoy his AC. Enjoy all of his best knowing this as you go forth that God's promises are yes, and they are amen. That God will withhold no good thing for those that are blameless. And you mind yourself, wait a second, I'm blameless. Jesus paid the price for my sins. He already been paid. I don't have to pay again. That I can boldly and confidently go forth into God's throne room and say, I'm blameless. Don't like, forget share, to like subscribe. share, subscribe, thumbs up. Give us your thumbs up. If you're a new subscriber, type in where you're from. And, and we're saying how easy it would be just to share. Because, share. Uh, you know, you can share the love of God just by hitting that share button. That's, That's really simple. That's so Share. Mm. I reach 500 people. How? Share. Every day. Bologna sandwich. And here's, what, here's what's interesting. You're There's like, 10,000 subscribers. You might, you might hit share and you're like, well, no one really watched it after that. But then you hit share again, hit share again. Here's what God's doing. As you're sharing it every day, God's orchestrating some stuff. And somebody's going to pop up that one day at the right moment, at the right time. And they're like, what is that? And it was the perfect, it was the perfect wake up though. It was the one that they it was needed. Done they needed. It was the one that, and that's they go, exactly what Boom. I was going through. And if you reached one, let's say mm -hmm. you just got one this year. It was worth it. Well, yeah. If every Christian were to each reach one, we get the world saved per year. Didn't what did I, I did the math on that? I think it was fifteen years. The whole world gets saved or so, ten. Yeah, it was something real quick. It happened really quick. If we all reach one year, one a year, one a year, we can do one a year. I can do one a year. One Stop. a year. One one a year. I can share. share. I can this, share this one is a day. One. Hey, Paul, once again, he's fired up. He's like, just push, push it. Just do it. He's in I heaven. would do it. He's in heaven. He goes, this is God. Watch this. How long? What did it take? Time it. <laughs> it's so dumb. They won't do that. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow.